this is an example of how we are using gremlin and new relic for observability and why it is important how it is important to the customer so here for the sake of the demo we have a demo application which is an e-commerce site which is selling you can see sunglasses tank tops watches various other things right so let us look at how it works so we now you can see that the customer can go they can select an item they can place an order and you can see that the order is completed right so you can see another order which has been taken taken to the cart and payment is made and it works now we are going to see in new relic the situation of the kubernetes pods right you can see everything here you a tool like new relic allows you to see what is happening where and accordingly once you see that now we are going to run something which is to attack now here this is basically a place in gremlin where you can run an attack and we are going to run attack on the cluster that we saw earlier in kubernetes here you can see we can see the pod we can see the cluster you can do it on any of the uh, components or you can look at the entire server whatever you want to do you can run it you can have process scaling so we are looking at a state uh, category of attack and here you can do process scaling shutting down or time travel we will do take for this example the shutting down so you choose the setting down you give a delay time of one minute and you unleash gremlin so i don't know if you have realized that we have kept that reboot option open so even if it's shut down it will reboot itself because we are just doing a demo or even in your game day in your chaos engineering activity you can do that so we have given a one minute delay so from 950 it will be 951 when the attack will happen so we are waiting you can see and now the attack has happened so now if you look at it you see that the server is going down and you if you go to the website the e-commerce website this is what the customer faces which means that the customer is not able to buy the business has stopped now sometimes back you must have seen that as per the submissions to sec amazon sells or makes transactions worth 835000 plus dollars in one minute so if the server is down you are losing a huge amount of money now amazon is different but if you look at the survey by gartner it says that on an average the amount of outage is the cost of outage is three hundred thousand dollars per hour of outage it is roughly around five thousand six hundred dollars of which is the cost per minute of outage right so now you cannot do business so you see that this is what the effect is on business now once it is over we have already put that it should reboot so the system will reboot and 
everybody, the customers will be able to reuse it, right? So you can see that the attack has got ended and it has rebooted. And now if you go and run, once it is rebooted, we have to give a little bit of time to reboot. Once it is back, you are back to doing business. Right? Now from this, what we basically learn is that we have given a promise in the form of an SLO and we have the error budget within which everything has to be done. So we need to find out how stable, how reliable our system is. And from that point of view, we have to take steps. Just running and breaking something is not enough. We need to understand, we need to identify what might break and we need to take action on it. So here in this case, what we have done is we are going to showcase another demo, another example, where we are going to use a different sandbox, another cluster, where the cluster has been configured for high availability. And there is a fallback which has been created. Now, if you place the order, orders are placed, you can, people can, customers can do <clears throat> proper business. Now we are going, we are running a separate Kubernetes cluster, and we will now use that cluster, the application in that cluster to run by tax. And you see, we will rerun that attack on a different cluster. Now here you can see that there is the unleash gremlin, the run attack, all those, we are not changing the parameters. So delay the number of minutes to delay before shutting down. Rebooting is on, you can see the option. And now we are going to rerun that shutdown and unleash them. And we are doing it in a different cluster. Again, same one minute of delay before it does. And you can see we are in a different <coughs> Kubernetes cluster. <coughs> we haven't reached the end. If you look at the events, you can see that there has been messages that things are unhealthy and you can see uh, the sandbox has been changed. So we are using a high availability sandbox and trying it out there. So now we are nearing that point. The <clears throat> shutdown has started and it is going through the shutdown. But if you Go to this application, you will find that the application is still going to run in this new cluster because it is a highly available cluster. So there is a fallback mechanism. Even though we shut down one cluster, um, it still works. So these are the kind of decisions you can take by looking at what can go wrong. And you can see what is the scenario from New Relic. You can identify various things which might break. And with this, this is a very simple demo that we have shown in Playground, in the virtual dojo that we have created, playgrounddojo.com. 
when you take subscriptions, if you want to look at the observability and if you want to look at the chaos engineering area, you will be bringing in your scenarios. We will help you hypothesize that. And by hypothesizing, you can experiment it on these applications, on these kind of environments. See what all you can do. Learn what, what all can be done to make your system more reliable, to make your system more available to your customers. Hope this gives you a good idea of what we are doing. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you in Playground.